And it says, behold. That word behold, you notice there's a comment there. It means get a picture, get a vision of it, lay hold of it. In other words, gaze upon something. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord. Now, God speaks this word to the prophet Amos. Amos was a minor prophet. There were minor prophets and major prophets. Amos Amos was one of the minor prophets, one of the smaller books. He says, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will send a famine on the land, but not a famine of bread, nor nor thirst for water but the hearing of the words of the Lord. Listen to that. He says, I'm going to create a famine, but it won't be one of food, and it won't be one of water, but it'll be a famine. A time will come where people will be famished for the word of the Lord. In other words, they'll be thirsting for something that they're refusing to drink. In other words, they'll be hungry for something that they are refusing to eat. And he says, over a period of time, a famine will happen. He says, they shall wander from sea to sea and from north to east. And they shall run to and fro seeking the words of the Lord, but shall not find it. Sounds like some very sobering times, doesn't it? In the book of Daniel, Daniel 2, verse 44, these words. And in those days of the kings... In those days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which should never be destroyed, and the kingdom should not be left to another people. Tell the person next to you, you're not another people. And it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. In other words, Jesus said, in the, in, in the New Testament, in the New Dispensation, when Jesus came, he commissioned the apostles and he says, I want you to go into all the world and I want you to preach the kingdom of God. And he says, that kingdom will break in pieces every other kingdom. Listen to what he says. And he says, and it shall stand forever. Let freedom reign is a tribute to the spirit of freedom. Who would be the spirit of freedom? The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Jesus said the spirit of the Lord was upon me to do what? To preach liberty to the captives. 